party. All right, first up, we're gonna start with Mike Griffith and then Raphael Haynes. Uh, hey, Tyson, um, I guess I just wanna ask you about your workout, uh, the number you ran, it looked like, uh, looked like you might've hit the mark from what we saw on television. Um, from what I'm hearing, I'm hearing you know, everything from 434 to 439. Uh, you know, I wanted to run 432, but I'm happy with 439. Uh, but uh, my main focus was to make sure I was looking well in my drills and looking very looking smooth. Hello, Tyson. Raphael from a three point conversion. Is there a um, particular attribute that you have that won't show on the um, pro day or on film? Um, I would say that I'm a dog. I think a lot of people get misconstrued by that uh, just because I let my play do the talking, but I'm a fierce competitor. All right, perfect. Let's next have Chip Towers and then Daryl Ledbetter. Tyson, I just want to ask you about the the forty yard dash in particular. It's an it's an amazing metric that everybody depends on so much. And you come from a sprinter's background. Uh, Eric put up a four two something today. I, I know you guys have been very competitive in that regard the whole time you've been in Georgia. I mean, it, it is is that a situation where you knew that he was a little bit faster than you? Or did you feel like you could run as fast as Eric does? And how much do you think it truly matters in being a football player and a defensive back? Um, I feel like I could run with anybody. Um, but, you know, Eric is a hell of an athlete. Uh, but like you said, uh, we're football players. And we're just blessed enough to have, you know, tremendous speed. But at the end of the day, you know, we want to show, you know, everyone out there that we can play football too. Daryl, do you still have a question? Uh, yes, I was waiting for you to um, to, to wave me on in. Uh, All right, you're in. Yeah, yeah, Tyson, uh, what in your skill set really uh, translates to the pro game, and uh, where do you see yourself fitting inside, outside, right, left at, at cornerback in the National Football League? Oh uh, well, I could do it all. Uh, so, whatever team calls me, whatever team drafts me. They're going to get a player that's willing to do anything to help the team out, whether it be playing slot, uh, outside corner, uh, man zone, anything. I'm, I'm all for it. I just want to help the team. And a follow-up, um, how have the Zoom meetings been going with the team? I understand there have been uh, a lot of teams going late into the evenings uh, trying to get to know people because, uh, the, you know, because of the circumstances with regards to COVID and so forth. Uh, Zoom meetings have been going well. Uh, I actually have a couple more uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, so they've been going well, um, starting to build a lot of uh, good relationship with the with these teams. And, you know, it's very exciting and it's a blessing. Thank you. No problem. All right, up next, let's have Mark Weiser and then Adam Mack. Hey, Tyson, um, what, what were you hoping, <clears throat> excuse me, what were you hoping to get out of today? And, and do you feel like you performed at that level and uh, the first round, how important is that for you? Um, what I was trying to get out of the day was just run a good time, uh, put up good numbers and measurements. Um, but I think the main one was to show my uh, DB skills, you know, to get that out the air that I don't have ball skills. And uh, I just want to show how smooth and fluid I am and quick I am out my breaks. And um, back to your question about being first round, I mean, you know, I think every, anyone would say they would love to be a first rounder. And of course I want to be a first rounder. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I'm leaving it in God's hands and, you know, hopefully uh, I get the call for a team and, you know, get, they blessed to give me an opportunity. All right, Adam, you're up. Hey Tyson, how you doing? This is Adam Mack from All About the Birds. What's up, Adam? Um, one people, some group that people forget they always have to win over are the fans. And a lot of thing, things that what I'm seeing is that you are the fourth cornerback in this draft. 
what are your message to the team fans that that draft you that may have wanted one of those three other cornerbacks? I mean, uh, they're entitled to their own opinion, uh, but I know where I am on that list, and I'm I'm confident in my abilities and what I could bring to a team and what I could bring to a table. So um, I feel like you know, once I get there, you know, they'll they'll get to love me. All right, and the last two questions for Tyson are going to be Mookie Hawkins and then Maddie Glab. Tyson Campbell and Wookie Hawkins, 14 Sports 1080. How's it going? I'm good. How you, man? How you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Um, you know, uh, how has going to Georgia uh, prepared you for this moment? And has the Bills been in contact with you? The, you said the Bills? Yes, sir. Oh, um, coming to Georgia, you know, I learned a lot as a player. And I feel like I've matured as a man. Uh, I think... A lot of people don't don't realize that, you know, when you come to college and you come to a program like this, you know, you're surrounded by coaches that not only uh, want you to succeed on, on the field, but off the field as well. And, um, you know, Coach Smart and all the, the rest of the coaching staff always, you know, put into our minds that we're more than athletes and we have a voice and we have a say and we are human beings. Uh, but as far as the contact with the Bills, you know, I've, I've talked to them. Thank you for your time. Hi, Tyson. My name is Maddie Glab. I work for the Buffalo Bills. Um, since you've been in contact with them, what do you know about Buffalo? What do you know about the Bills? Uh, did you follow them at all this past season and the success that they had? Do you watch the NFL in general? Yeah. Um, you know, the Bills are a great team. Um, you know, I watched them this year. Uh, they got a lot of corners that I, I watch. Uh, Davis White, somebody that I watch, uh, and you know, I know they have a you know powerful and uh, great offense, and uh, they went to the AFC Championship this year. So I know they're up and coming organization, and um, yeah, I watched them this year. How do you think it would be to fit into a defense like that, playing for a defensive coordinator like Leslie Frazier, and playing opposite of an All-Pro corner in Tre'Davious White? Uh, I think it would be a, a blessing, uh, a great opportunity for me uh, to learn from, you know, a guy that, you know, has done so well in this league for the past couple of years and to be coached by, you know, Leslie Frazier, who is well known in this league as one of the best defensive coordinators. So I feel like it's a, it would be a blessing. Um, I would love the opportunity. Um, but yeah, like you said, um, I'm just I'm just willing to get better and just grow as a player. So I'm willing to do anything. Thanks, Tyson. Thanks so much, Tyson. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.